Today's Sports Figure tutorial is entitled Web Shell Upload via Content Type Restriction Bypass. To solve the lab, we must exfiltrate the contents of the file slash home slash carlos slash secret by using a basic PHP web shell. First, access the lab and log in as winner with the password Peter. We know that we are looking for a vulnerable image upload function. Let's try uploading a real image. We are redirected to the avatar page and it looks like our image has been uploaded. When clicking the Back to My Account link, we can see that a preview of the image is now available inside of our account. Now let's try uploading a PHP web shell. I have created this simple PHP file that uses the system command. The code takes the value of the evil parameter from the URL and executes it on the server as a shell command. This time we get an error. It looks like our file has not been uploaded because only JPEG and PNG files are allowed. Let's see if we can bypass this protection. Go to Burp Proxy HTTP History and look for the two My Account Avatar requests. The first one, in which we uploaded the PNG image, responded with 200 OK. And the second one, in which we tried uploading the PHP shell, responded with 403 forbidden. Send them both to repeater. We also want to see the request that returns the contents of our uploaded image. For this, we need to go to the filter settings at the top of the requests list and click it. Here, we want to select images from the filter by MIME type section and click apply and close. We can see a get request for files slash avatars slash your image name, in my case minion.png. As you can see, this request returns the content of our image. Send this request to repeater as well. Now, if we go to the request that is trying to upload a PHP file, we can see that the problem is that the MIME type of the PHP file is not allowed. What we can try to do here is to change the MIME type of the file to an allowed MIME type, such as the one for our image file. Go to the other request, copy the content type and replace it here. Now when we send the request, we get a 200 OK response. The file has been uploaded. This is because the server does not check if the contents of the file actually match the declared MIME type. Now, if the web server is configured to process files with a .php extension using the PHP interpreter, which is typically the case for servers running PHP, then our uploaded PHP file should be executed by the server. Let's go to the request that returns the content of our image file. We want to see the contents of our PHP file, so change minion.png to exploit.php. Remember that the PHP code takes the value of the evil parameter from the URL and executes it on the server as a shell command. This means that we need to add an evil query parameter, so question mark evil equals, followed by a system command, such as who am I? It looks like the current user is Carlos. Now, we can simply exfiltrate the contents of the file we are interested in for solving the lab. cat slash home slash Carlos slash secret. We have found the secret. Copy it, go back to the lab and submit the answer. The lab is solved. This is it for today's tutorial. See you in the next one. Bye!